Hello and welcome back to Stindy Games. So today we're playing Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark, and this is a sponsored video. It's a, a turn-based RPG that I'm pleased to check out, especially given just the awesome art style on this start menu. Now, the game recommends that you play with a controller, so that's exactly what we're doing today, and we're going to jump in. So the game, people estimate, takes around 30 to 50 hours uh, playtime, and it's a days Ooh. of centuries past. Oh. An otherworldly beast known as the Maw appeared in Diora, leaving the Maw in its wake. In this time of need, seven great heroes rose against the threat. The battle was oh, fierce, yeah. but the heroes prevailed. And As you'd the expect. Was vanquished. The beast was slain! In slaying the beast, the heroes gained the power of immortality. That's a pretty they cool power. The Council of Immortals to rule over the land and enforce order to prevent such a catastrophe from ever happening again. Ah, uh, already I'm hooked. But powerful as the immortals may be, they are few. It's Thus, just eight dudes. They created the Order of Arbiters to enforce their will and protect the land. As agents nice. of the immortals, Arbiters wield absolute authority. They are judge, <laughs> nice. jury, and executioner. But Ooh. in time, the Order of Arbiters has grown complacent and corrupted. Could a threat as, you'd expect. as dire as the ancient beast itself be looming over Tiora? Oh no. Oh no. Man, so already, thrown in the deep end, the backstory, pretty simple, but you know exactly what you need to know. The world had a great evil, it might come back, foreshadowing. Good work, Anodyne. You handled yourself well. Thank you very much, Kyrie. I imagine I'm Anodyne. Is this a tutorial? Thanks, Captain! I'm not gonna do- I am not gonna do a silly voice for Anodyne because, oh, that is a way to wreck your voice. I don't feel I actually did all that much, though. Okay. Violent confrontation isn't always necessary or desirable. Negotiation is an equally important skill for an Arbiter. So we're an Arbiter, right? Of course, you're right, Captain. Are you sure Reiner knew the time we agreed to meet, Captain? Yes, he knows, but knowing Reiner, he's probably getting drunk? Did you hear that? I don't know, you know, maybe he isn't getting drunk. I probably shouldn't label this guy as an alcoholic already. I didn't. I did. That was like a, a sword unsheathing. Help, please, anyone. Sounds like it came from the alley just ahead. Let's go. All right. We're going. We're going for it. Oh, it's... Oh. Oh, he got wiped the hell out. Who's this slick-looking mother trucker? What's the meaning of this, sir? Why on earth would you strike down an unarmed man? Explain yourself. Alphonse. Oh, this guy looks this guy looks like he's evil already. Sometimes you can just tell from a character portrait. Pesky witnesses. What a bother. Oh, you think you can take me, son? You, hireling. Earn your, oh god. Okay, he's got friends. He's got backup. Earn your coin for once and dispatch these interlopers. Out steps like a massive ogre. Oh no, it's Cammy. Gelich. Defeat Alphonse. Okay, here we go, the nitty-gritty. Right. Deployment. In this phase, you can decide which allies you want to join the battle, place the characters in the glowing tiles until the unit limit has been reached. Sometimes, specific characters will automatically join the battle and cannot be removed. I guess for, like, story purposes. Holy crap, right, okay. Oh, man, already I can see at the top you've got, like, a, a list of portraits, and I guess that's the turn order for different characters. Right, okay, so we have Kyrie, who's deployed, and she's an ally. And... Anadine, who is also an ally. So do I not control those guys? Well, let's find out. I can put down this wizard dude, Virgil. Let's do that. And let's have him facing the combat. I can also put down Lana, a mender, so I guess a kind of healer. That could be important. Now, we are, we are like, kind of whipping out five guys. Oh, wait, I can't put any more down. Okay, right, so my limit is three units. So can we take away Virgil and replace him? Remove. Right, so we've got Ramsey. Oh man. Alphonse. So Ramsey's level one with 88 HP. Alphonse has 80 HP. And we can choose between 
Virgil and Lana. So we've only got two characters to put down. We can put down the wizard for more damage, or the Lana the Mender, who's level two for healing. They're both level two. Well, maybe we'll put down the Mender, because I feel like uh, we might need some healing for this. Have a face that way, and I reckon we're good to start the battle. Proceed with these units. Yeah, that seems acceptable. So... Six Eyes Studio is basically two guys. It's it's just an artist and a programmer. So it's very much like a, um, a very kind of authentic homegrown RPG. I dig it. I dig that a lot. By lawful decree of the Arbiters, I order you to lay down your weapons and surrender. All right, Kyrie. Now. He's not going to do it, though, is he? You are an Arbiter. This is even more tiresome than I thought. Exterminate these pests, and you will receive a tidy bonus or a tiny bonus. <laughs> One of those is a lot better than the other. As you wish. Okay, to battle. You're ready to face your first real battle. Oh, try not to get stabbed. She's ready. Let's deal with this scam. Let's move Let's move this uh, first character up. She's going to deal with um, Ramsey, because he looks like the one to worry about. And let's have her attack this dude. Go on, wreck him. Wasted. Well, not quite. Attacks from the sides deal more damage than the front. All oh, right, so we've got to watch out. If we don't, if we don't cover Kyrie's left flank, she's going to get flanked. So I'll move up my next character to deal with that. Take advantage of this mechanic is crucial to victory. All oh, right, so it's all, it's all about positioning. So we have a Mender now. Um, I'm not sure if she's really going to be worth attacking with. What about what holy magic does she have? Debuffs and mend. So I guess if we just we can have her move up an attack. So if she goes here, we can get uh, the other characters to go next to her and cover her flank. She might take a big hit from Alphonse, but she could probably handle herself in battle. So attack. Not as much damage, I doubt. Yeah, 11 HP. Wow, with her healing stick. We'll leave her facing that way, and then we're gonna move... Oh no, right, so we can't move... Uh, we can't move Anodyne up just yet, so we've got to watch out here. But you can get close at least. So she has Warcraft. She can do a forceful strike, but nothing's within range. So I guess we're just going to end our turn. And you're going to face this way so you're not going to get flanked. Oh, okay, here we go. Right, so she is a tech. Right, yeah. Luckily, this guy's left his back exposed. Oh, no, he's moved. He turned at the last second. So the AI knows what it's doing. Um, we're going to, I guess, let's try, the, let's try a Warcraft forceful strike. 0.85 physical damage and pushes the target away by one tile. Aha! Uh -huh. So, depending on the terrain, you can, like, knock them into, like, a sewer or something. Tell you what, let's try knocking this guy into a barrel. We're gonna move... ...there. Then we're gonna knock this guy back into the barrel. Didn't do much, but maybe because he was pinned against the floor, against the barrel, we did more damage? I don't know. And, uh, we'll keep facing this way because she can probably take a side hit from Alphonse. Meanwhile... We're going to move Kyrie up to the side. What Warcraft does she have? She also has Forceful Strike. What happens if I knock my dude, uh, knock Alphonse into my dude? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, so I did damage to my own dude. Okay, I should have seen that coming. And now, do we finish off Ramsey? I think we can't quite, but we can get him on critical health. Oh, no, we can. We can finish him, because we attacked from the back. Wasted. All right. And there's no way Alphonse can kill us with one shot, so we're just going to, um, I guess, move? Let's move over here and face this way. And it's Alphonse's turn. Oh, he's going around the side. That won't save you, though, my friend. That will not save you, because we're going to move up and slam this guy against the wall. So does this cost um, any kind of mana? No. So Forceful Strike doesn't cost any magic power, any mana points. So we're just going to whack him against the wall. Slam dunk. And now... Stay facing that way. Enough! I yield! Okay, so we don't get to kill him, which is probably fair enough. We want to question him after all. A wise choice, if a bit late in the coming. Bam! And there you go, our first victory under our belt. Man, so I guess you get gear and you can kind of like gear up your characters. It's a shame we don't get to design your main character, although since this is a tutorial, maybe we do. Or maybe we take control of existing heroes. Man, Reiner, what a smug-looking chump. Ladies, there you are! 
What's this? You didn't tell me we were going to a party. Oh man, Reiner, such a comedian. You cannot be serious. Do you not know who I am? Let's just stab him. We're arbiters. Lord Alphonse, a nobleman of the realm. Command... We don't take orders from noblemen. We take orders from the immortals, punk. Very well. Let us proceed with the farce if we must. Bring me to the chapter house for my quote-unquote trial. So, like in classic turn-based RPG style, we have a world map. It's a pretty cool looking map as well. Head for a luster. The journey may be treacherous. Stop at the local guild here in Gellig and hire more hands for the road. All right, so we can recruit more dudes to our party. I wonder how much choice you get in terms of uh, customizing your party. Okay. Oh, you can change your appearance. So am I Kyrie? So we can change the appearance of Virgil, who we didn't use. Whoa! I would have used him if I saw that mustache. Holy smokes. And Lana. Well, let's see if we can take off his hat, because he should not be hiding his, uh, his beautiful mustache behind that hat. Name input. Oh, yeah, because Virgil's a bit of a, bit of a bad name. We're going to call him Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. So we've got Jeff. You can change his portrait. Oh, this is... Oh, right. So you basically, you get templates for characters, but you can use whatever portrait you want for them. So we can make this guy look like, oh, let's say, this Carl Drogo looking guy. And <laughs> and sure, just, just use this portrait. That's pretty cool. Boom. Jeff, the undead lich with human hands still. Maybe he stole someone's hands. There we go. Lana, the werewolf priest. That looks perfect to me. Lana doesn't really make sense for a werewolf priest. We're going to call her Pogo. There we go. Doris the rogue. Boom. Ready to rock. And we'll hire her. We've got a team now. Let's go to the crossroads and see what's happening over here. Right, so there's a combat. Boom. Kyrie. Yes, I noticed. What, what did you notice? What, the broken cart? The sign? Footsteps? Oh, no, there's an enemy over there. What's happening, Captain? Stand back, Anodyne. Uh-oh. It's Team Rocket. <laughs> Jump lively, boys. It looks like we must earn our prize today. No survivors, no witnesses. Well, good luck with that. I'm uh, a bit of a badass. Don't know if you saw. Defeat all foes. Okay, so we're going to add in our new dudes. We're going to add Jeff. Oh, Jeff. They'll never see you coming, Jeff. And you can face this way. Why not? And, of course, Pogo, <laughs> our healer. Oh, I love it. I love it already. Look at these guys. Pogo and Jeff. Together till the end. Right, so we could just set up a defensive position and wait for them to, to come. Move. Let's take a look around the map, actually. See if there's anything that we can knock people into. Like any environment kills. Doesn't look like it. No dodgy fires, no pits of acid. Nothing we can use. Uh, let's set up a defensive position over here. So we're going to move our scoundrel... Uh, over here and trickery. What can she do? Steal gold? Nice. We'll... Oh, wait. Move. And we'll just end her turn here and face that way, please. We'll leave this guy here. Looks like a solid position for him. Here they come. The boys are moving in now. I really could use, like, a ranged. Maybe I should have given, like, my scoundrel a crossbow. Elementalism. Oh, right, so we've got spells. But their range is not so great. And also, you can't cast them at super close range. Bam. Taste rock, fool. And we'll leave you there. The dog's are coming in now. Still not in range, but this dog might be. Oh, he is. Ooh, that's a, that's a lot of damage. Right, now this is your time to shine, Pogo. You can use your healing magics on Reiner. Bam. Good as new. Right, meanwhile, it's Jeff's turn. Come on, Jeff, your time to shine. Cast a magic missile. Do a fire attack, and I guess if we do it on the dog, maybe? Dogs have less health than the humans, right? Only a little bit, though. Oh, right, so the fire is a fireball, and this is going to kill everybody in that kind of cross. This should be good. Boom. Whoa, look at the damage. Oh my god, Jeff, you've had done yourself. 
Oh, okay. But that mercenary made a big fatal error. She's right in the middle of my three dudes now, so she's gonna get slammed. Where's this guy going? Uh-oh, so she's gonna open the trap door? I can't get to the trap door this turn, but I can slam this guy from behind. Yeah, this is gonna kill him. Nice. Do another fireball. And if you do it here, that's gonna hit both the dog and the mercenary. That's a good shot. Bam. Oh, and the dog's down! Now, do we want to do a knockback, actually? Let's try a... Forceful strike. Bam. Stay facing that way. Uh-oh, it's dog. Oh, now Kyrie's. Oh, Kyrie's dead! She's fallen, but she's not dead completely. We're gonna move Pogo up, and she needs to heal Reiner. Reiner needs to be kept, uh, kept up. Holy magic heal. So I think Reiner's on full health, actually. No, he's not, but he should be. He's gonna be the one that's taking all the damage next turn. Nice try. And now it's Anodyne's time to shine. So move up here. Slam the dog in the back. Actually, we can, if she can get all the way up here, we can attack this guy from the side. That'd be a much better, much better plan. Slam. She's not even on her knees yet, though. All right, Jeff, you're up. So can I just do a fireball on the floor and get this dog? I think I can, you know? Nice. Boom. So thorns even affects range and magic attacks. That's, that's good to know. Okay, so Pogo could kill one of these dudes. Kill the dog. And I think Anodyne can deal with the uh, other Merc, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Right. Slam. Dunk. Boom. Easy. Wow, a nice bit of gold, a heavy crossbow that we're definitely going to be giving to Doris. Or maybe she can only handle light crossbows as a scoundrel, I don't know. Right, so let's hit, let's hit Illustra and see what's going on over here. Why didn't you delegate the paperwork to Anodyne? That's what captains are- captains in training- oh, she's a captain in training! Straight to the top. Anodyne needs a break. The journey here has been much harsher than what I would typically expect of a trainee, yeah. She's got to get some actual enemy kills. And when it's humans, that's, that's kind of dark. And this particular package, I want to deliver personally. So here we are at Illustre. Ha! How may I be of service? Hey there, guardsman. He doesn't really look like an arbiter, does he? He doesn't look like a lawman. He looks like a, just a general scrub. Dropping the prisoner off for trial. Several charges, mostly murder. Murder, is it? Shame. Not often this kind get brought in alive. I know, I was, honestly, I was arguing for the stabbing, but, yeah. You heard the captain. It's murder. Take him to the lower level and make sure he makes it safely to our darkest, dankest cell. Oh, man. The dankest of cells. The immortals have convened a council session, and by their order, all arbiter captains in the city must attend. Oh, and we happen to attend. We happen to be in the city, so I guess we're doing that. Can't wait. Can't wait. No, no, no. These guys are immortal, which means they do not have time to wait around. Ah, so these, these are the heroes of legend. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven dudes here. I thought there were eight. Eight immortals. Oh my god, he looks like he's like a thousand years old. I understand you've got some kind of announcement, Primus. Let's get on with it, if we have to. As everyone knows, while each of the council bears the title of immortal, we are not quite as long-lived as that. Oh, right, so they, they will die. Ooh. Every so often in the course of our reign, one of our number is replaced by a younger prodigy. The new immortal retains the title of his predecessor and adopts his colors but he's nevertheless a new immortal altogether. So, so these guys aren't immortal, they do die. And they just have like a, a, like a, someone that carries on for them. Like a, is this going somewhere? I think he's explaining it for the, for the guys at home. Septimus, oh this guy looks like he's 10,000 years old, holy crap. Yes, yes, I know. Nothing important, nay critical, immortal business awaits me. 
Nothing less would tempt me away from this Congress, I swear. So I'm calling it that Septimus is a bad guy, mostly because his portrait looks like a bad guy. Uh, and there's got to be one of the council members as like an evil dude. That, that's, the only way, that's the only way it could happen. And I will bet that he kills the rest of the council. In some way. There comes a time for every immortal to surrender his mantle and step down. Are you stepping down, Primus? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, it's time for him. <gasps> Jump! <laughs> the shock! Who's this bumblebee-looking mother trucker down here on the right? What? What is he? Is he like a an insect? I will have the opportunity to directly observe an immortal relinquishing his power. How absolutely fascinating! You are quite... Are you quite committed to this decision, Primus? I hope he is. It's a big, big move. So is he going to kill himself? The oldest remaining immortal alongside Quintus. Oldest remaining. So of the originals. Who's Quintus? Oh, right. The guy that looks like he is 10,000 years old. I was present on the day we brought down the ancient beast. And I personally subscribe. I personally scribed the founding tenets of the Immortal Council. Okay. It's been a very long journey. Rewarding, yes, but also tiring. And the time has come for me to step down. Our trusted arbiter captains are no doubt eager to hear what follows. Quintus, do the honors. So I guess this beetle looking dude, Beetlejuice over here, is like one of the captains. Of course, Primus. When an immortal's time has come, a replacement is selected through a method called the marked pilgrimage. Oh, Anodyne's going to be uh, marked for pilgrimage, isn't she? And she has to make that pilgrimage. Maybe? Every immortal marks a candidate of their choosing. Details of the pilgrimage are explained to me, to the marked, but as they are of no import to you, I shall waste no time on that. What should be of great interest is that each marked is an immortal candidate and as such is bound by no laws for the duration of their pilgrimage. Okay. You may render assistance unto them if it is requested, but must not interfere otherwise. That's everything. Okay, cool. That must be important. Are we done with the surprise announcements? I hope so. Excellent. Dismissed. That was it? Ooh, teleportation. Primus is old as the council itself. It will be strange to see another assuming his title. I suppose the day must come for each of them, and he has been at it the longest. Though, he does seem surprisingly fit, especially in contrast to Quintus. Yes, Reiner, well said. Plenty else to worry about. From what I've heard about the marked pilgrimage, chaos follows closely on its heels. Oh, yeah, this sounds like a pretty big event. Watch this. Yeah, he's free. Decided to take the air. Did you, Alphonse? I don't think it will agree with you. Well, well. The nosy wench and her hired gorilla. Here to see you return to your cell. And he just walked out. I feel like he's been let go. Can't believe it. One of the immortals has chosen you to be a marked. I knew we should have stabbed him. Why? This guy? Oh, no. The corruption is rife. Oh, I see. So each immortal picks a marked. And they race to complete this pilgrimage. And uh, this guy is going to try and win, and we have to try and stop him. That makes sense. I get it. Only the absolute finest selected as candidates for the exalted... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Alphonse. You died, like, hard, although you were ganged up on. But that is where we are going to end this episode. So definitely, this game has kind of hooked me in, and I want to kind of complete the story. Check it out on Steam. It's got amazing reviews. The combat system is actually quite excellent. And I'm keen to see where it goes, uh, what new classes you can get, what new uh, recruits, items, and spells and things, and how your characters level up, and all of the cool new areas you can go to. But yeah, I've been Sjin. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe and drop a like if you want to. Also become a member if you want to as well. And I will see you next time for another indie game. Until then, take care.